Hey, what's going on guys? It's Omniarch, and I wanted to just bring you a video talking about how long I think video games should be, uh, and kind of relating it to other forms of media. I know uh, Review Tech USA and Boogie2988 made videos talking about how long they think video games should be, um, and they made this they made this video uh, kind of because of the, uh, the game The Order 1886, I believe it's called. Uh, I think it's a PS4 exclusive. Um, someone who played the game early before it came out, uh, played it pretty much uh, as bare bones, as quick through as they possibly could, and they found that it was about five hours. If they didn't do any extra quests or exploring or anything, it was uh, like a five hour game. And, you know, that sparks the debate, well, is that too short for a video game, you know, um, especially one that probably doesn't have much replay value because it's, you know, just a first person exploring game, and how often are you going to replay the same story, you know? So, for me, I think that's that's definitely too short. I mean, you have to take into consideration, if you're spending $60 on a game, um, it either, ha like, if it's got to be five hours long, it has to be the most amazing, like, jaw-dropping, innovative, like, market-breaking game for five hours. Like, it, it has to be so above and beyond anything else that we've ever seen in order to make it worth $60 for a five-hour game that you're not going to want to replay, you know? I mean, you can't, it's you have to look back you know look back at all your favorite games that came out back in you know the late 90s early 2000s think about the gamecube era the nintendo 64 era you know you have super mario 64 ocarina of time even things after that basically any zelda game though any zelda game any uh bethesda game like oblivion or skyrim or fallout you know those types of games they you could play those games for hours like if you wanted to complete complete play through the legend of zelda twilight princess uh it'll take you over 100 hours i mean maybe less if you're really familiar with the game maybe it'll take you like 70 80 hours but you know <clears throat> as a first playthrough you're definitely getting your money's worth and i know the order 1886 a lot of people are saying oh it'll be more more like 10 hours if you're gonna seriously like play side quests and you know do all that stuff but for me, I think it's really more about what kind of games you like. You know, for me, I like either first-person shooter games or RPG games or sometimes adventure games, you know, like Zelda. Um, and, you know, RPG games are very replayable because you can play different characters, you know, you can do different side quests, different quest lines, and, uh, you know, you can basically do whatever you want. It's a free roam game. So those, you know, obviously you're getting your money's worth for anything that Bethesda puts his name on, basically. Uh, same thing with Zelda. Anytime there's a Zelda, you know, name stamped on the box, you're most likely going to get your uh, money's worth for it because, you know, you have over, I guarantee over at least 20 hours just to play through at a normal pace. Um, so... <clears throat> You know, if you enjoy those types of games, and like Call of Duty, you know, I play Call of Duty more than anything because it has a high replay value. I like to play online, and it's a different experience every time I play online, almost, you know, and uh, it's just, it's really fun to be competitive. So, you know, I think if you're going to charge $60 for a game, you either have to have a really long, um, you know, storyline, or you have to have it so that it's very open world and you can make a bunch of different choices and have it a high replay value. Or there has to be a competitive nature or like a ranking system like online with Call of Duty. At the end of the day, you have to remember that video games are a form of entertainment. Even if it is an interactive, um, innovative form of entertainment, it still has to be uh, long enough to entertain people for their money. You know, uh, The Wolf of Wall Street is a, is a relatively recent movie um, that I really enjoyed. And I've seen it about four times. And it's three hours long. And I did see it in the theater and I paid for my girlfriend. So, but... If you take into consideration, it's about $12 for a ticket. Uh, that's on average. You know, some of them are more and some of them are less. But if you say it's $12 a ticket for a three-hour movie, I'm being entertained for three hours for 12 bucks. You know, and so if you're going to sell a game that's only five hours long, it can't be $60 because I can do something else for five hours that's going to cost less, you know. So you have to really get your money's worth. And I think that's where the, uh, the, the length of games comes in. I think... If you're going to make a game that's a $6, I have to at least be able to play it for 10, between 10 and uh, 10 or more hours. I mean, the more the better, you know, I'd, I'd prefer over, over like 14, but you know, I don't want to sit down and beat it in one day. That's not worth $60 to me. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed, uh, please leave a like in the video. It really, really helps me out. Um, subscribe for more videos like this one and drop a comment in the comment section below telling me how long you think video games should be for, 60, for the $60 price range. 
Also, if you really enjoyed it, you can share it on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, and that'll help me out even more than you know. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.